Every day I open either my email or my Instagram DMs and I see a message from somebody from some company that I've never heard of before trying to get me to review something. And like 90% of the stuff that I get offered, I don't even reply to at this point. But every once in a while you see something and you think, hey, now you might be onto something here. And that's what happened with this video from a company by the name of, I'm going to screw this up. Suikui. Suikui. S-U-I-K-U-I. I believe it's Suikui. Is it Suikui or Suikui? <laughs> oh man, I hope I didn't have this eye booger in the shot the whole damn time. That should have been out of there. And the reason why I accepted this product to review was because what I was told about it was something that I felt filled a couple of gaps in the camera industry. I can remember times before Sony cameras had flip screens that I was like, God, I wish somebody would just make like a three inch monitor. And I pretty sure I never came across one. I mean, this is it in my hand. It's pretty, pretty darn tiny for a monitor. And the second reason why is that it's actually a recorder. I feel like Atomos has like no competition out there in the recorder field. And this is no competition either, but it's something, it records video. There's a little micro SD card slot on the side here and this actually comes with a little eight gigabyte micro SD card and it records 1080p video. Now it's not 4K and the 1080p is recorded at a low bit rate. I think it's 16, 16 Mbps is but this is pretty great for somebody that's really just looking to record maybe the settings of their camera and you can record your menu we have our record button right here up top we also have a function one and two over here where you could set things like zebras false color histogram now this takes npf batteries but you could also plug it right in and power it that way which is always great it also comes with this nice little swivel shoe mount and it's pretty good quality you have two full-size hdmi ports on the back one in and one out and we also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack over here to monitor your audio sweet Quee isn't sponsoring i hope i'm saying that right they're not sponsoring this video in any way shape or form if i thought it sucked i would say no don't get it but i think it fills a lot of gaps. But this video does have a sponsor, and that is Artlist.io. I worked with a few royalty-free music companies out there, and Artlist is the one I keep coming back to. They are by far the best. One of the worst things about editing video when adding music is spending the time to find the right song to match whatever you're trying to put out there to the world. Luckily, that is one of Artless specialties. Their search tools make it extremely easy and fast to find exactly what you're looking for. You could search by genre, you could search by mood, you could search by video theme, you could search by instrument. It's extremely easy to narrow it down to exactly what you're looking for, not to mention the music itself is just super high quality. I find myself having songs stuck in my head that I've been putting in my videos from Artless. That's how good the music is. And nothing Thing makes a video more appealing than sound design. Good sound design is extremely important and Artless has a huge library of high quality sound effects for you to choose from. If you're an online content creator of any kind, then their base plan has you covered at just $9.99 a month for unlimited downloads. In the description below, I'll leave a link for not only a free trial, but if you use that special link, it'll add two free months onto your active subscription. Doesn't get any better than free. Thank you, Artless, for sponsoring today's video. I flipped my FX3 from 4K over to 1080p, and I took a shot where I was recording simultaneously on the recorder and the FX3 at the same time, just to compare 1080p to 1080p. And I was curious to see if there was a big difference in not only the quality, but maybe even the colors given that there's such a difference in the bit rate between the FX3 and the internal recording on the Sweet Quee. As you can see, the colors match up pretty perfect. One thing I just noticed is that the monitor recorded its video at 15 frames per second, which isn't a huge deal. And there's some quick workarounds you could do for that, but I'd really like to see 24 and 30 frames per second options in an update. <laughs> People are going 
going out and spending a lot of money on external recorders just to be able to do something like record your on-screen settings or record your menu. And now with the Suikui, Suikui, you have that option. I think it's a good product. I'm going to use it. Definitely. Thank you, Suikui, for sending this over. Thank you guys for watching. Post a comment down below. What do you guys think about this? Did I say the name right? What do you, how do you think it's pronounced? S-U-I-K-U-I. -I. Let me know down below. Thumbs up, all that good stuff. I love you guys. Yeah!